That is a beautiful sight. I hope that I at least somewhat brought these back to life. Hang on. This is why it's always important to have a plan B. That power supply, for whatever reason, just blew. So, I am uh, fortunate that I believe I was able to revive, at least partially, these batteries. These batteries uh, belong to uh, Jen's electric bike. Uh, there's four, well, what, <laughs> what was 20 amp hour, 12 volt batteries in this battery box here and uh right now they're hooked up obviously in series uh in parallel i'm sorry when they're hooked up to her bike they're hooked up in series uh but again right now they're hooked up in parallel because uh, we just need them at 12 volts so um when i pulled this battery box in yesterday and checked the voltage on it it was like i'm kidding you not uh, and it was cool outside, yes, but uh, the batteries were like 10 and a half volts. So I put them on the smart charger and it desul, you know, it attempted anyway to desulfate them. And uh, we're going to see how it does. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to hook up a meter. I wish I had an oscilloscope uh, that could handle it. I'm going to hook up a meter to, uh, to this. And I'm going to see what it draws, and I'm going to pay particular close attention to when it's at the very end of its cycle. And I'm going to see if I can see a spike in, uh, in current. And see if possibly there's a, a, a you know, fairly large spike in current right at the end of its uh, glow plug cycle. Again, I wish I had a, a scope to be able to look at it with, but uh, I might be able to see it with a meter. Um, because that power supply was rated at, at 25 amps for the 12 volt rail. There is another gentleman that bought a 30 amp uh, 12 volt power supply off of uh, either eBay or Amazon. Uh, and I'm familiar with the supplies because I was looking at them, at them to be honest. And uh, he bought a 30 amp and he said his blew up. So I, I'm kind of suspecting that there could be a spike um, but maybe not. I, I don't know. That's what I'm going to look for and, uh, and see if I can find. If not, he could have had a dud and that power supply that I used was definitely not a, a what I would call a quality power supply. It was just a cheapie. So maybe it was uh, a bit overrated and maybe the other guy uh, got one that was just a, a dud. So we're going to see if we can get to the bottom of it. But uh, for now, I have to use batteries, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's why it's always important to have a backup plan, and it's why I have to immediately uh, now get another backup plan. So um, I, I want to go back to uh, a power supply that I know will handle it, because it's, it's more efficient, in my opinion, um, if I just go ahead and go, uh, you know, 120 volts, VAC uh, to power this and uh, and possibly a couple of other things that I might need to power in a in a in a bad situation so anyway let me uh, let me work to getting this hooked up okay we got our meter hooked up there and as you see we have uh, just a little bit of current draw from it and that's because we have the uh, the display and whatnot the motherboard that's powered up so I, uh, I am going to go ahead and hit the power button. I believe everything is good to go on the heater. So hit the power button here. And you're going to see the current draw go up considerably. We are coming up on 2 amps draw. Now I'm going to check the voltage on the display here. 
it says 12.1 volts, 12 volts, 11.9, 11.8, 11 11.7, yeah, see it's drawn, drawn hard on those batteries, 11.5, 11.4, 11.6, 11 .5, 11 .4. I'm calling out the volts while you're watching the uh, current, the amps. 11.2 I'm going to see what it springs up to. We're down to 11 volts. Ten point nine. Ten point eight. Looks like the uh, current's leveling out there. I heard the fuel pump kick on. 10.7 volts. Ten point seven uh, bouncing between 10.8 and 10.7 volts. As you see, our our currents stand steady. It's trying to kick off. I hear uh, I do hear flames starting now. So we are at 10.8 volts on the, and this is on the uh, on the controller. So I don't have a second multi tester or anything hooked up. Display shut off. Um, 10.8 volts still. 10.9. So. I don't think that was a complete drawdown on the battery. We'll see when we do the shutdown. We'll let it run for a bit and see if it uh, can do a shutdown okay. It's starting to spool up. Once it gets that internal temperature up enough, it will uh, Go ahead and let that glow plug go out, which you'll see the current draw really drop then. We're still at 10.8 volts, 10.7. It did drop down to 10.6. So there was a, a, a spike that I saw in the voltage. I myself will have to rewatch the video uh, to see what it did on the current. So the glow plug is now out and it is keeping itself lit and now it's just heating up. These things are, are absolutely incredible heaters but make sure that whatever you have supplying the, the power to them, the 12 volts, make sure that it's going to be enough to handle it. Now that, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, the glow plugs off, we're bouncing between 11.8 uh, and 12.2 volts on the screen. So, and as you see, we're bouncing around uh, right around three amps draw. So, and that's on high. It draws a lot less when you, uh, when you drop it down. She's starting to get good and warm. And she looks like she's all the way up to Tim. I dropped the uh, hertz down a little bit. We'll drop it down and you can see uh, what it pulls on minimum, which it goes down to 1.7 hertz. So this is all the way down. And as you can see, all the way down, it stays under an amp draw. 
now that's all the way down so you're not going to be providing very much space very much heat okay so keep that in mind uh 5.5 is the top 1.7 uh let's go with uh let's go with three or something like that and see what the draw is there three let's try 3.1 So like somewhere around halfway, as you see, it's it's drawing, uh, it's keeping under one and a half amps. So anybody wants to know the current draw? So my voltage is showing, with it running that now, my voltage is showing at 12.6. So is what my, and, and that, you can pretty well disregard. I'm, I'm kind of more or less looking at that for myself um, because again, I'm running on batteries and, and uh, I don't really know the condition of those batteries. I don't suspect they're in real good condition. Um, so they are several years old. Um, while she hasn't ridden her electric bike a lot, um, you know, they haven't really been drained down or anything like that. So they just got some time on them. So they actually haven't been used very much at all. So, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it back up to full speed, Scotty. We're gonna let it get up to full speed. I am gonna take a few vapes. And uh, we're just going to let this thing get nice and hot, and then I'm going to do its shutdown cycle, and uh, we're going to see how it does as far as the, uh, the draw shutting down, because when it shuts down, it will once again turn on that glow plug to clean that glow plug off. So... But like I say, these are, are really good little heaters. And for a lot of apartment dwellers that are preppers, you know, this is, this is an alternative. All you have to do, and I, have to, I don't have the stuff yet, otherwise I'd be doing all these tests inside. But once I can afford to get the, I have to get a couple of fittings and some high temp hose and then uh, and a flange to be able to make something I can put in the window at the bottom of the windowsill that I can hook the exhaust up. Once I do that, I can test this thing inside and it'll be actually ready to use in case of an event. Right now, uh, I still couldn't use this in the house because I have no way, I can't think of any way I could jerry-rig something up that, uh, that I, I gotta have something that's high temp. Because that exhaust, I think it's somewhere around 300 uh, degrees Fahrenheit or something. I thought somebody measured it at coming out, the exhaust air. That's a little warm. So, and the, uh, the exhaust itself, the metal, uh, around, uh, from what I've seen people measure it, around 150 degrees. So, uh, again, uh, the air about 300, the metal about 150. i got to have uh, a setup that can handle that that won't melt so ain't a problem I, it's just a matter I, I gotta get the uh, I'm gonna use a, a piece of uh, tubing for intercoolers for for cars that uh, I'm gonna use that uh, between the I'm gonna put an adapter on the muffler and then I'm gonna put that silicone tubing and then I'll have another adapter and then I'll have a uh, high temp like dryer more or less for dryers so now to go to a flange that'd be mounted to a board that sits in the windowsill. I'll show you guys all this once I, I can get it. I'll show you guys how I set it up. So, all right, let me she see what my voltage is doing here. Sorry if I keep, keep getting in the air with the mic. 
Um, I'm showing uh, yeah, bouncing between 11.8 for a second up to 12.2, kind of bouncing around, but doesn't go to 11.8 often, does go to 11.9. So let me go ahead and hold the power button. We are now in shutdown mode, and you're going to see that current draw go right back up. And I'm going to check temperatures again. Or I mean voltage, I'm sorry. The voltage on the controller currently is 12.2 or 3. Now it's 12.2. And you're going to see uh, the current draw go back up. So the voltage is down to 12, 11.9. 11.8, 11.7, almost up to 5 amps draw, 11.6, 11.3, up to 7 amps, 11.1, .1, 11. Looks like we're hitting 8 amps and 10.9 volts. And 8.3 amps we're hanging out at. 10.9 volts. Okay, now I'm going to watch those amps, that current, because we're hanging at 10.9 volts. So I'm going to watch that current and see if I see a spike right before that glow plug goes out. And we may not see it on a multi-tester. See, I didn't notice anything. We're back up to 12.4, 12.5 volts and drawn just over an amp current, or just over an amp draw. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Without a scope, it's gonna be really hard to see if there's a spike but I kind of suspect there might be a spike. So, interesting for sure. So anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you what I was up to. I did do, uh, as you could see, I did do some work on the, uh, on the case. It was white and, uh, you know, I, I wanted either a black one or a red one. But the one that they had that had the, uh, you know, all the different accessories and the controller and stuff that I wanted uh, was white uh, for the price, the cheaper price. So I thought, well, whatever, I'll get it. And so, uh, yeah, I got to toying around the other day. And I thought, oh, I got a can of flat, bra uh, flat black spray paint. And uh, I grabbed some sandpaper out of the toolbox and gave her a quick light sanding. And, and then... Uh, Sprayed it black good. I actually stuck it in the oven and uh, baked the paint on so that, uh, you know, I, I do like to try to do things right. And then I couldn't resist to pull out the vinyl cutter and uh, do some SS stripes on it and a little bit of humor on the, uh, on the decals. So I know GT is Ford and SS is Chevy. That is, uh, that was kind of part of the humor. So anyway, I, uh, I hope I learned you something. I believe uh, our meter has auto off here. We'll auto on it. So one amp still we're drawing while it's finishing its cool down cycle. But uh, there you go. I have to uh, figure out what I'm gonna do now as far as a power supply. It sounds like the cool down is over. So I love these heaters, folks. I'm telling you. Good plan for SHTF. Shalom.